has had his way up to right now. How many felt like God came in here just to, it was so beautiful. I've never heard that song that Brother Timothy gave. I appreciate his faith tonight. Yes. There's a young lady came here tonight. Put your hands up. Sister Natalie is her name. She's a Holy Ghost filled girl going through yeah. struggles in her life. But she laid those burdens down to Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Did you hear me? I said she laid her burdens Praise down. The Lord. Hallelujah. And the God of heaven gave oh, yeah. her a drink of water. Did yeah. you know that Jesus met one woman at a well 2,000 years ago and met another one at the well? That's oh, right. Yeah. Amen. Oh, man, oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. And what happened? What, what do we know about, and I want to sing that song again before we go tonight. Just want to make a few comments here. What happened? What do we know about the woman at the well? We know that she was a Samaritan woman. Yes. We know that she was outside of the favor of God and his people, don't we? You don't have to sit down. I'm not wounding up to do anything. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to pray right now. But I'll tell you something. We know that we too were outside of God's promises, weren't we? Yes. We had no chance. We weren't even born near this. We didn't know anything about it. But aren't you glad Jesus sat down at the well one day? Hallelujah, Lord. What else do we know about her? Hallelujah, Lord. We know that she attempted to worship somewhere that God didn't favor. That's it. We know that she had put all of her faith in another mountain that was in contradistinction to that which the Lord had intended for her to worship at. And she said, well, we don't even, she said, we don't worship in this mountain. And Jesus said, I don't worship in this mountain either. But he said, I worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. He said, and the hours come, and now is. Everybody say, the hours come. The hours come. That's not everybody. The hours come, the hours come. and now is. And they that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Let's put our hands up and say, Lord, I thank you for this meeting tonight. I thank you for this Holy Ghost meeting tonight. Now I want to challenge you tonight. Don't miss the meetings over tomorrow. Don't miss what God has in store tomorrow. The young lady praying tonight. But yes. God can assist her yes. in her steps. Oh, yes. The Bible said the steps of a good man is ordered of the Lord. Yes. And I believe that God can assist this young lady tonight. Yes, he can. How many will pray in this building tonight that if there's something that you didn't unload, that before you go to sleep tonight, the hounds of heaven will begin to work on you, and you'll give that up. If you're here tonight and you have a need, don't leave this building tonight with that need upon you. I'm telling you, I'm wise enough to know, and I think you are too, and you could nod your head with me. The Holy Ghost is right here now. Amen. To Amen. There's only, uh, I learned from the wisest man that I, I, I studied under, and he's my pastor. He said, Brother Lonnie, in every service, there's a window of opportunity Amen. for the Holy Amen. Spirit to have his way. Thank you. He said, if you boys would learn, and it hadn't been that long ago that he said this to me and still called me a boy, and that's fine, that's fine. I, uh, but he said, if you, if you men would learn that in every service there's a little window there, yes. and God wants to do something, don't wait, do it then. Now, I appreciate Brother Timothy obeying the Lord right Amen. there. But that's not easy to do when nobody's hardly doing anything just... Just by faith, stand up. And I'm not tooting his horn, but I've watched him over the last few weeks, and I've never seen an attempt on this young man's part like he is now to touch the heart of God. And the reason that David was so honored of God is because he was a man after God's own heart. I wouldn't take that away from a single vessel here tonight. How many want to be after the heart of God? See, I... I, I see that I see that scripture a little different than some because there, everybody uses that scripture and I've heard it used from the time I was a child and they use that scripture David was a man after God's own heart and they made that sound like well see he he had God's favor well that's maybe that's right but I like to look at it this way 
He spent his whole life, and there's over 75 psalms that he wrote seeking the heart of God. He was after God's heart. Yes. Amen. He was after God's heart. Yes, he was. And I believe we can be after his heart. Let's all let's all stand up, pray for the meeting tomorrow. Uh, I want to um, I want to make a, a a request tonight, and they can put it up tomorrow. We uh, we uh, know that there's a list that's being made up. I think it's made up, Brother Stephen. If it's back on there, there they are seeking items for the Thanksgiving dinner that's coming up. They posted it. Um, I think Wednesday night, it's on the screen now. If you'll go out uh, in the foyer tonight, look on the board. There's a board out there, I believe a bulletin board, with these items on it. If you can pick up some of these items and get them in here for Thanksgiving dinner, Brother Marlo, Sister Marlo, and those working with that, I'm sure Brother and Sister Maginot will say thank you so much. Amen. Take, take time to look at that list. And take time to pray for brother. How many will pray for brother Marlow tonight? Yes. That God will strengthen him and yes. pray for everyone else. Brother Hank Shock tonight. I have a special need. My aunt is uh, over. Lives over in Lakeland. She's very weak tonight. Uh, she doesn't have a whole lot of family. But about a year ago, she began to call upon me to help her. Yes. And uh, I'd like for you to remember my aunt in prayer tonight. I have a lot of confidence in. And her, she grew up in a holiness movement, helped my grandfather build about 18 churches and uh, uh, was there from the time of the child. And, and I feel like I should honor her and pray for her. Amen. And then you'll pray for my aunt over yes. in the Lakeland Amen. area tonight. Yes. And uh, I do appreciate that. And I, I want to say that I'm, I'm thankful to see my wife doing better tonight. She had surgery again. Amen. And she's coming along real good. And I thank you. appreciate that. She's got a big cast on, so I'm walking softly so that I don't get clubbed. And, and, but God is good. So let's thank Him. Lord, we thank You for this meeting. Lord, we thank You, Lord, for what You've done here tonight. We thank You for those that had their needs met tonight. We thank You for a moving of the Holy Spirit here. We thank you, Lord, for just coming in and, and meeting our needs tonight. We pray as we leave this place that you would bless us and give us favor. Keep us safe, Lord, on the roads, we pray. Bring us all back safely tomorrow at 1030 in the Spanish and 2 o'clock in the afternoon service. And everybody said, Amen. God bless you.